Yo, what's going on, guys? Uh, today, I'm going to be giving my NBA DraftKings picks for Monday, November 6th. Uh, we only got a three-game slate today on this Monday, so a really short slate. Uh, for slates like this, two- and three-game slates, I'm not going to go position by position because, like I said before, I feel like I'll just be repeating myself a lot when I do position by position on a short slate. So for, like, two, three-game slates like this, I'm just going to go through the player pool and touch on the guys that I like. So that way I'm not repeating myself and just keep mentioning the same guys. Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get started up top. Uh, Kevin Durant, 10,100 going up against the Heat today. Uh, personally, me, I don't think I'm going to be paying up for KD today. Not at 10-1. He hasn't really been paying off his price tag. Hasn't really been paying off his price tag pretty much all year. He's only had a couple games over 50 DK points. He's got one game where he had 50, one game where he had 58, and one with 61. And then under that, or then other than those three games, he's been under 50. Uh, and at 10-1, you're going to need at least 50 DK points to be worth that price tag for even cash games. For tournaments, you're going to need 60-plus to really roster him at that price. Uh, so for that reason, I'm going to be off of KD today. Just think he might be a little bit too expensive. And some of these guys in the 8K range definitely have similar upside to KD. Could possibly outscore him. Uh, so I'm going to be off of KD today. Not really interested in Steph Curry either. Uh, the Heat are really good defensively against point guards. One of the best teams against guards. Dragic, pretty good defender. Uh, so I think this might be a tough spot for Curry. He is 9600 which I think is a relatively cheap price tag for him. Uh, but like I said, these guys in the 8K range like Kyrie, Booker, Russell, I think these are the guys you want to target. Uh, and KD, Steph, KD a little bit too expensive for me. Steph, really tough matchup. Uh, so I think I might be shying away from those guys. If I look to get exposure to the Warriors today, definitely going to look to do it with Draymond and with uh, Clay. Don't think I'm going to be on uh, KD or Steph. But in this 8K range... Where I really like some guys. Kyrie Irving, first off, 8,800 going up against the Hawks. Uh, we know the Hawks are very bad defensively against point guards. Dennis Schroeder, not a very good defender. Uh, so this is obviously a good spot for Kyrie. 8,800 does seem like a lot to pay for him. You're going to need probably close to 50 DK points to really be worth that price tag. Uh, but this is a good matchup. He could definitely get there. He's only gotten 50 once this year, which was the season opener against Cleveland. Other than that, he hasn't put up 50 or more all year. Uh, but like I said, it's a good matchup against Atlanta. It's a three-game slate. You don't really have a ton of other options. Uh, so Kyrie's definitely in play. I'm not going to be plugging him into my five plays today because there are just other guys I like a little bit more that are cheaper. But Kyrie, great matchup against the Hawks. Definitely a guy you want to consider. Uh, for 400 less, Devin Booker, another guy you definitely want to consider today. Um, we know Brooklyn, a very fast-paced team, team that plays at a fast pace. Not a very good defensive team either. Uh, same goes with Phoenix. I believe these t these teams have faced off multiple times this year. Booker did just face Brooklyn on the 31st and put up 47 DraftKings points. Had 32 points in that game, 4 assists, 7 rebounds. Was a pretty competitive game. Only uh, They won by 8 points, so definitely a competitive game. We could see a similar game to that, a very high-scoring competitive game. So you're going to want to have exposure to Brooklyn sides. Uh, to Brooklyn side, you're going to want to have exposure to the Phoenix side. Obviously, Devin Booker, a great play today. We know he's going to take a ton of shots. No Eric Bledsoe. Devin Booker is the Phoenix, or Devin Booker is Phoenix's go-to guy when it comes to scoring. Now that Bledsoe is out, uh, so Booker definitely in play. 8400. If I had to choose between him or Kyrie, I think I would actually take Booker for 400 less. Uh, just personally, I like this spot for Booker. Love the matchup. Love the pace of the game. Uh, so I'd prefer Booker over Kyrie, but definitely don't go wrong with Ross and Kyrie. He's also in a really good spot. Uh, and then 200 less than Booker, D'Angelo Russell. 8,200 going up against the Suns, another point guard in the 8K range. It's in a really good spot. We know Phoenix really struggles defensively against point guards. They're just not a good defensive team overall. Uh, we did finally see Russell start to see his minutes get in track. Uh, he played 35 minutes in that revenge game against the Lakers and put up 40 DraftKings points. When he just faced this Phoenix team on the 31st, he played 29 minutes and put up 47 DraftKings points. And at 8,200, I'd say you're probably going to need at least 40 for cash game value. Uh, which he has been doing in his last two games. He got 6x value when he played Phoenix earlier uh, about a week ago. So I think D'Angelo Russell also in play in this, uh, in this 8K range. If I had to choose between these three guys in the 8K range, if I had to rank them just overall projection, I'd probably go Booker, Russell, and then Kyrie. I just think this Brooklyn-Phoenix game is going to be so high scoring. A ton of points are going to be scored, a ton of fantasy points. So I want a ton of exposure to that game. So that's why I'd rank Kyrie under those guys. But all three of these guys in the 8K range, definitely viable options. Uh, and then in the 7K range, 7,400, Draymond Green going up against the Heat. Love Draymond Green today. I am going to be plugging him into one of the five spots. 
I uh, just think it's a good spot for Draymond Green. I like the price tag, 7400 That does seem a little bit too cheap for him. Uh, for cash game value on Draymond Green, you only need about 5 to 6x, somewhere in between there. Uh, for 5x, for cash game value, you need about 35, 40 DK points, which he could definitely get easily in the spot. And he has the upside for tournaments to put up 50 plus. We know Draymond Green can get a triple double. He's done it multiple times. We know he can grab the rebounds, grab a sit or dish out assists, grab rebounds, can, can score the ball a little bit, can get the defensive stats, can steal, can block. Draymond can pretty much do it all. So always a guy I like to consider, especially at this really nice price tag of 7,400. Think that is just a little bit too cheap on him. So I really like this spot for Draymond Green, like the price tag. Uh, so I'm going to be plugging him in today, 7,400. Think he's in a really good spot. Uh, Al Horford at 7,200. Also like Al Horford in this 7K range. Uh, if you don't want to play Green, I think Al Horford also in play. You can plug him in at power forward. Uh, since Atlanta lost Dwight Howard, they have been pretty bad defensively against centers. Dwayne Dedman, just not a good defensive center. And Al Horford can really stretch the floor. He can shoot the three-pointer. He'll have to drag Dedman outside of the paint, which could give Dedman some struggles. Uh, so I like this spot for Al Horford. 7200 I think that's a reasonable price tag to pay. He has been paying that off lately. Been on a really hot tear. Uh, before that game against Sacramento, Horford was putting up multiple games with 40-plus. Had 37 against OKC. I think if you want to play Horford in this spot, he's definitely a viable option at 7200 It's a three-game slate. We don't have a ton of options. So if you want to go to Horford, I think he's in a good spot. Uh, Dennis Schroeder at 7100 I'm not really intrigued by Schroeder today. I know the price tag's really nice. This guy just gets a ton of usage, has one of the highest usage rates out of all point guards this year, even out of the whole league. Uh, this spot against Boston could give him some troubles. We know Boston has good defenders like Jalen Brown. Uh, they have Marcus Smart, who is also a good defender. I doubt they put Kyrie on Schroeder. They'll usually put Brown or Smart on whoever handles the ball the most, and that is Schroeder. So for that reason, I think I might shy away here at 7,100. I think I'd rather just get up to like Russell and Booker, even Kyrie. In this 7K range, I really like guys like Draymond Green. Don't think I'm going to be targeting Schroeder here, so I'm shying away from him today. Love Hassan Whiteside at 7K. Probably one of my favorite plays on this slate. Absolutely love his price tag today. Think Hassan Whiteside, way too cheap. We know Golden State, not the best defensive team when it comes to defending bigs. They don't really have a very good defensive center. Sides of Pachulia, not really going to be able to handle Hassan Whiteside. Uh, so Whiteside could totally dominate in this matchup. The potential for 20 and 20 is definitely there today. We saw against Orlando the kind of upside that uh, Whiteside had. Put up 22 rebounds, 26 points in, the, in that game against Orlando. Could totally see him doing that here. Um, we know Golden State plays at a very fast pace, which is definitely good for Miami. Will allow Miami some more opportunities for shots, more opportunities for Whiteside to grab some rebounds. And if this game could stay close, uh, Whiteside could just totally smash here. And I love his price tag at 70K or at 7K. His price just continued to drop. Started at 8,400 this year, then went down to 7,900, then went down to 7,600. Now we're getting him at 7K. Uh, I know he hasn't been playing that well, but this price tag is just too nice to pass up. And I think he can definitely crush value on that price. Uh, so I love Whiteside today. One of my favorite plays on the slate at 7K. On this, looking in this 6K range, if you want to target some guys here, Clay Thompson, a guy I really like at 6,900, looking to get. A uh, piece of exposure to the Warriors. Like I said at the beginning of the video, don't have a ton of interest in Durant and Curry. So guys like Klay Thompson, Draymond Green are guys I'm going to be targeting from the Warriors. Uh, Clay, I probably wouldn't use him in cash because he's just really kind of inconsistent. You don't really know what you're going to get from him. If he's not really making his shots, he's not going to do much. We saw that against Denver. He did only play 29 minutes in that game, but only put up 23 DraftKings points. Only had 15 points. Only had 15 points against the Clippers. But when he's making his shots like he was against San Antonio, like he was against Detroit, like he was against Toronto, this guy can definitely put up 40-plus, for which is good for tournaments. So for GPPs, you always want to consider Klay Thompson, especially on a three-game slate. For cash, I'd probably shy away from him. I just think there are other shooting guards you can target for a little bit more that I'd recommend in cash or guys cheaper that we'll get onto. But Klay Thompson, tournament play, obviously viable option. Uh, Gordon Dragic, 6,800 going up against the Warriors. I think Dragic is fine here. Uh, we know Steph Curry isn't the best defender. Not really a guy you're going to shy away from. And Dragic has been uh, really consistent this year, especially as of late. In his last four games, he's put up 33, 32, 37, and 42 DraftKings points. Uh, he is 6,800. That does seem like a nice price tag to pay. You're only going to need about 35 DK points for cash game value, which is totally viable from Dragic. He has the upside to get you 40-plus, close to 50, which is good for tournaments as well. And if this game could stay close, 
uh, Dragic, Whiteside, those two could just totally smash, could definitely put up 100 combined points. Wouldn't surprise me at all if this game can stay close. So I like Dragic here, 6,800. Definitely think he is in play. And then looking for some other guys that we can target in this mid-tier. I'm not going to talk about all these guys uh, just because I don't feel like I want to recommend everybody. That's not really helpful. So I'll hit on the guys I'm going to be looking to target. Uh, and first off, in this 5K range, one of my favorite plays as well on this slate, uh, 5,700, TJ Warren going up against Brooklyn. Love TJ Warren today. Love his price tag. Just think he is a little bit too cheap. He did come off a head injury in his last game against the Knicks. Uh, but I'm recording this on Sunday night, and right now the the Suns are playing on Sunday night against the Spurs, and Warren was active. He is playing in that game, so he should be ready to go. They are on a back-to-back. -back. I doubt they would rest him. But like I said, I am recording this the night before, so things could happen. Maybe they rest him. I would doubt they would, but I'm I'm thinking Warren's going to be full go here. Against Brooklyn, this is just a smash spot for Warren. We know Brooklyn's not a good defensive team. Uh, we saw him have a great game against them when he faced them on the 31st. Put up 20 points and 11 rebounds. Got the double-double. Got 37 DraftKings points when he faced Brooklyn about a week ago. Uh, so love TJ Warren today. Another guy I'm going to be heavy on uh, today at just 5,700. Think he's way too cheap. And also some other guys I like in that price tier. Uh, another core play, Damari Carroll, 5,400 going up against Phoenix. Love Damari Carroll today as well. It's sort of a mid-tierish value play. I uh, think Carroll just a little bit too cheap. This guy's been way too consistent be, to be forty four or to be fifty four hundred. He's been crushing value. He's been paying off his price tag. At that fifty four hundred dollar price tag, you're only going to need about twenty five thirty DK points for value. He has the potential to get you thirty five plus. We've seen Carroll do it multiple times this year. Uh, when he did just face this Phoenix team, when they faced uh, last week, he had thirty one DK points in that game. Thirteen points, uh, five rebounds. Also got some defensive stats as well. Carroll can definitely provide you the defensive stats. He is a really good defender, can get some blocks, can steal the ball, uh, steal the ball, which pro provides him, gives him a ton of upside in fantasy. So I love Damari Carroll here at 5,400. Definitely a guy I'm going to have a ton of exposure to today. And then another core play, my final of my five plays, uh, for 100 less under Carroll, Mike James, 5,300 in that same game going up against Brooklyn. Great spot for Mike James. We know Brooklyn, not a good defensive team, not a good defensive team against point guards. D'Angelo Russell, not the best defender. Uh, Mike James, 5,300, does seem like a little bit too much to pay, but we've seen what kind of upside James has. Uh, he did face this Brooklyn team on the 31st and had 44 drafting points in that game, his best game of the year. Had 24 points, five, re or five assists, three rebounds to finish with 44 DK points. And even after that game, James has still been pretty consistent, 23, 25 DK points. He is only 5,300. You need 25, 30 DK points for value. He has the potential to get you 40-plus. We've seen him do it before. He did it against this Brooklyn team. Uh, so I like Mike James here. His minutes have been consistent lately. He's been playing close to 30 minutes just about every game. Uh, so I love him at point guard today, 5,300. Another guy I'm going to be looking to target for value. And I think that might be it in the 5K range. I'm probably not going to be on a ton of these guys five K in this 5K range. I don't want to mention these guys if I'm not going to be looking to play them. Maybe James Johnson, 6,300. I didn't talk about him. Uh, if that game can stay close, Johnson definitely could be a guy you want to target, but it's a tough spot for Johnson. He'll probably see defense from Draymond Green. We know Green, a really good defender. Uh, so I might shy away there. If I look to get exposure to the Heat today, it's going to be with Whiteside, and it's going to be with Dragic. Johnson would probably be the third uh, the third guy I would target, but if that game can stay close, he should definitely be contributing, having a really good game. So I think he's finding that 6K range. In this 5K range, don't think I'm going to be targeting guys here. I'm not going to mention these guys if I'm not going to be looking to play them. Uh, so 5K and under, maybe some cheaper value plays we can look to target. It's not a great matchup for Josh Richardson having to see defense from either Clay Thompson or Kevin Durant. Uh, but Richardson does play a ton of minutes. He is really cheap at 4,800. This guy usually sees just about over 30 minutes every game, especially if it's a competitive game. If, they, if this game can stay close, Richardson can definitely get 25, 30 DK points. We've seen him do it multiple times this year. He does have the potential to bust for you. He has been pretty inconsistent, but he's shown his upside 38 against Atlanta, 30 against uh, Indiana, 24 against Denver. So at 4,800, I think Josh Richardson, definitely a value play you can consider today. If you want to go cheap at shooting guard or small forward, I think he's a viable option. I'm looking for some guys a little bit cheaper we can target. I think if I'm going to target uh, Phoenix's centers, I think I prefer Tyson Chandler today over Alex Lynn. I uh, just like that Tyson Chandler starts. He's cheaper as well. He usually plays more minutes than Lynn does. Usually Lynn gets more minutes when he uh, Chandler gets into foul trouble. 
Chandler definitely does have a problem with that. He will get into foul trouble at times. But in this spot against Brooklyn, a team that takes a ton of shots, a ton of opportunities for Chandler to gra uh, grab rebounds, I think he's in a good spot at 4,100. I think he's definitely a value play you want to consider today. Uh, if you're looking for a cheap play on this slate, Tyson Chandler, definitely a guy I would target here. And yeah, guys, I think that might be it for this slate. Like I said, it's a small slate, only three games, so this video is probably going to be pretty short. Not really going to talk about these guys sub 4K because they just don't get enough playing time. Not really guys you want to roster unless somebody gets injured throughout the day. Uh, so yeah, guys, with that being said, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe as well. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And be sure to click uh, the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that way you'll get notified every time I upload and you'll never miss out on any of my new videos. Uh, but yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Um, good luck tonight, guys. Peace. Whoa, 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 whoa